Welcome back to Ambo TV, the home of next generation pastors. Joining me today in studio, we have a special guest, producer, actress, director, Miranda Dupontier. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for saying my name correctly. <laughs> I practiced. Last night, I sent my producer a text at like midnight, and I'm pretty sure she's like, why is he still up? It's because I was trying to learn your name. I know it's not easy, so I appreciate it. I got it, but no, this is great. So um, just for the folks at home who may not know who you are, um, you also produce a small little show that's on Netflix in its third season on Netflix right now, and with an E. So awesome. Um, also uh, produced a small little film with uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and Mark <laughs> Ruffalo. Thanks for sharing. Amazing film. And now we are going to talk about your newest film, which also has some amazing actors in it. Uh, we have uh, Boo Boo Stewart and Will Sasso and a, a lot of just amazing talent, which is the Grizzlies. So tell me a little bit how you got into, like what, what inspired you to start directing first of all and you know because I think you started as a producer for the film right yeah and originally I was supposed to produce so I had seen this ESPN news piece about a group of kids in a small Arctic community who were overcoming their trauma through sport okay. and I was very inspired by it I had struggled with depression in high school and sports had really helped me through so and I love sports dramas so I started developing it um, as a producer and then the original director um, had to took another project. It took so long to raise the money and put the movie together. And, and when he left, he said, you should direct it. And I said, I've never directed before. What are you talking about? And um, But I'd been spending a lot of time in the community and had found uh, these incredible Inuit co-producers from the community to work with. And I felt that there was you know, a really good support system. And they were very um, supportive of me stepping into that role. So. And I mean, I've, I've got now, folks at home don't get jealous, but I had a chance to do kind of a, an advanced U.S. screening. So the movie is amazing. And uh, how do you, as a director and producer, how do you feel? Because Ambo TV is a faith-based network. Mm -hmm. so, so how do you feel this is going to really connect with our viewers? I mean, I think this is a film that is all about faith and hope. Um, these kids came together they, um, they leaned on each other and they found a way through and needed to find something bigger than themselves to get through very tough times. So, I, you know, I think there's, there's nothing more important than faith and hope yeah, <laughs> to me. Absolutely. And we all, as human beings, struggle with issues and young people especially, you know, um, can, can, um, can feel very lonely when they're struggling. So. I think it's a film that really is inspiring. Yeah, and it tells an important story too, not only of you know, uh, how hard it is to be a teen right now, um, but about the Inuit people and about their particular struggle, which is, you know, it's, it's something that a lot of teens, and I know even I, growing up as a teen, oh, nobody has it harder than I do. Nobody has it. So I, I think it's important that way because it's showing a perspective that most teens and even adults haven't even thought of, you know, when it comes to, just struggling in life and you know so how important is it to you as a Canadian to kind of be able to tell this story of the indigenous people of Canada? Well listen I obviously I'm not indigenous um, I knew nothing about indigenous people when I first went up to the Arctic um, and I've learned a tremendous amount and I really needed indigenous partners to help tell this story but it's universal you know struggle is universal and uh, we really made a lot of mistakes globally with how every country in the world did not treat indigenous people mm -hmm. well and, and many countries still aren't treating their indigenous people well. So I think how we treat others um, is indicative of, of who we are. And you know, we all matter, we all are together, we all need to get along. And I think you know, the, the, we want everyone to be healthy, you know, a country and a community's better when everyone's well. Yeah, so now you've had screenings in, in Canada with this, correct? And I know it's nominated for multiple, it's won awards too, right, correct? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so now after the screenings and after people, what would have been, you know, what's the most uh, hard hitting reaction that you think you've gotten 
The reactions have been amazing. I think what's wonderful about the film is for indigenous audiences, um, it's very emotional and becomes very personal mm -hmm. um, to get to, first of all, get to see versions of themselves on screen as heroes. Yeah. You know, and not a lot of indigenous kids have gotten to see themselves um, represented in media. So, and, and represented in a positive way as, you know, the stars of a movie. So that's been very positive. And, um, and definitely the difficult issues in the film uh, uh, and, and, and one of those issues being suicide, um, there's been kids who have come and seen the film and, and said, you know, that the film literally has saved their, life, mm. their lives. So it, that's been profound. And then, um, and then for audiences, for non-Indigenous people, um, they get to a window into a community they've never seen. They get an understanding into some history um, in North America they may not know about. But ultimately, it's just an inspirational sports drama about young people overcoming difficult times. And that, to me, is something we all can gain from. Absolutely. And it's an important film. And I mean, even though it's not labeled as a Christian film, I, I absolutely see God in this movie. And I really feel that it is, because it has a lot of core Christian values in the film. So I think that you know anyone that watches Ambo TV or any other Christian network really would benefit from watching the film. Now, I know it's already out in Canada. So March 20th? March 20th, we open across the US. So check your local listings yeah. and check our, we're at um, thegrizzlies.com is our website. So you can check out and we're on social media and um, come, come join us. So, <laughs> Are there any other projects that you might have? Works? <laughs> I know everybody. everybody I definitely likes that will come question. back. I have some things. I'm, you know, some some things I'm working on, and actually, my um, Inuit co-producers on the film and and I were working on another project um, that they're they're writing and going to direct. So, it's exciting. There's a lot going on. I love this. So the film has sparked even more relationships and more films about. That's actually that's like living the dream, there, right? So you make a film, and that film inspires another film, inspires another. It's yeah. so great. It's so great. It's really an important movie, too. The Grizzlies, March 20th, in theaters, nationwide, correct? Nationwide. Everybody should go see it. And thegrizzlies.com is where anybody can find out info on the film. Please go check out this movie, Miranda. Thegrizzliesmovie.com. Thegrizzliesmovie.com. <laughs> Pardon me. So, Miranda, thank you so much for thank taking you. time to and, and come sitting with us here at Ambo TV. Awesome. All right, please come back. Lovely to meet promise. you. I'll be back. I'm back. Yay! Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm Dean Windsor, and this has been Ambo TV.